Welcome to Destination Know How, your ultimate guide to exploring the world's most captivating destinations. In today's video, we'll be taking you on a virtual tour of one of Italy's most picturesque cities, Florence. Known for its stunning architecture, rich cultural heritage, and world renowned art scene, Florence is a city that truly deserves a spot on every traveler's bucket list. So, Join us as we count down the top 10 must-visit places in Florence that are sure to leave you in awe. From historic landmarks to hidden gems, we've got you covered. So, let's dive in and discover the magic of Florence together. But before we start, if you want more of our videos like this, you can support us by subscribing to our channel and liking the video. Now let's continue our video. The Duomo, also known as the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore is a magnificent Gothic-style cathedral located in the heart of Florence, Italy. It is one of the most iconic landmarks in the city and is considered to be one of the most impressive cathedrals in the world. Construction on the Duomo began in the 13th century, and it took over 140 years to complete. The cathedral's most recognizable feature is its massive dome, which was designed by the famous Italian architect Filippo Brunelleschi. At the time of its construction, the dome was the largest in the world, and it remains an engineering marvel to this day. In addition to its awe-inspiring dome, the Duomo is also famous for its intricate facade, which is decorated with colorful marble panels and stunning sculptures. The interior of the cathedral is equally impressive, with soaring arches, intricate stained-glass windows, and beautiful frescoes adorning the walls and ceilings. Visitors to the Duomo can climb to the top of the dome for breathtaking views of Florence and the surrounding Tuscan countryside. They can also explore the cathedral's bell tower and baptistry, both of which are equally stunning and rich in history. Overall, the Duomo is a must-see attraction for anyone visiting Florence, and it is sure to leave a lasting impression on all who visit. The Uffizi Gallery is a world-renowned art museum located in the historic center of Florence, Italy. It is one of the oldest and most famous art museums in the world, with a collection that spans from ancient Greek and Roman sculptures to 18th-century paintings. The museum is housed in a stunning Renaissance building that was originally built in the 16th century for the Medici family, and it was later converted into an art gallery in the 18th century. The Uffizi Gallery's collection includes some of the most famous works of art in history, such as The Birth of Venus by Sandro Botticelli, Primavera also by Botticelli, Annunciation by Leonardo da Vinci, and Madonna of the Goldfinch by Raphael, among many others. The museum also features an impressive collection of ancient sculptures, including several Roman busts and statues. The Uffizi Gallery is a popular destination for art lovers from around the world, and visitors can easily spend hours exploring the museum's vast collection. The museum is organized into several sections, with each room dedicated to a specific time period or artistic style. In addition to its impressive art collection, the Uffizi Gallery is also famous for its stunning views of the city of Florence. Visitors can enjoy panoramic views of the city from the museum's rooftop terrace, which offers an unforgettable vantage point of the city's historic center. Overall, the Uffizi Gallery is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in art, history, and culture, and it is sure to leave a lasting impression on all who visit. The Accademia Gallery is an art museum located in Florence, Italy, that is home to one of the most famous sculptures in the world, Michelangelo's David. The museum was founded in the 18th century by the Grand Duke of Tuscany and was originally intended to serve as an art school, hence its name Accademia. In addition to Michelangelo's David, the Accademia Gallery houses an impressive collection of Italian Renaissance art, including works by other renowned artists such as Sandro Botticelli, Domenico Ghirlandaio, and Andrea del Sardo. Visitors to the museum can also view several unfinished works by Michelangelo, including the Prisoners series, which are a group of sculptures that were intended to be a part of the tomb of Pope Julius II. The centerpiece of the Accademia Gallery is undoubtedly Michelangelo's David, a stunning marble statue that stands over 17 feet tall and depicts the biblical hero David. The statue was carved by Michelangelo in the early 16th century and is considered to be one of the greatest masterpieces of all time. Visitors to the museum can view the statue up close and appreciate the incredible detail and skill that went into its creation. The Ponte Vecchio is one of the most famous landmarks in Florence, Italy. It is a medieval stone bridge that spans the Arno River, connecting the city's historic center with the Ultrarno district. The bridge is unique in that it is lined with shops on either side, most of which are jewelry stores that have been in business for centuries. The Ponte Vecchio has a long and fascinating history. The original bridge was built in Roman times, but it was destroyed by a flood in the 14th century. It was rebuilt in 1345 and has remained largely unchanged since then, 
making it one of the oldest and most iconic bridges in Europe. During the Renaissance, the Ponte Vecchio was home to a variety of shops, including butchers and fishmongers. However, in the 16th century, the ruling Medici family decreed that only goldsmiths and jewelers could operate on the bridge, in an effort to beautify the area and promote the city's art and culture. Today, the Ponte Vecchio is a popular destination for tourists, who come to admire its stunning views of the Arno River and the surrounding cityscape. Visitors can also browse the shops on the bridge, which offer a variety of jewelry and other souvenirs. Overall, the Ponte Vecchio is a must-see attraction for anyone visiting Florence, and it is sure to leave a lasting impression on all who visit. The Piazza della Signoria is a historic square located in the heart of Florence, Italy. It is one of the most important public squares in the city and has been a center of political and cultural activity for centuries. The Piazza della Signoria is home to several famous landmarks, including the Palazzo Vecchio, which is the town hall of Florence and has been the seat of government for the city since the 14th century. The palace is a stunning example of Renaissance architecture and is adorned with beautiful frescoes and sculptures. Another famous landmark in the Piazza della Signoria is the Loggia dei Lanzi, a covered outdoor gallery that is home to several important sculptures, including Cellini's Perseus with the head of Medusa and John Bologna's Rape of the Sabine Women. The sculptures in the Loggia are some of the most important examples of Renaissance art in the world. The Piazza della Signoria is also home to a replica of Michelangelo's David, which was originally located in the square before being moved to the Accademia Gallery for preservation. The replica stands in the exact spot where the original statue once stood, and visitors can admire it up close and take photos. Overall, the Piazza della Signoria is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in history, art, and culture. Its stunning landmarks and rich history make it one of the most important and fascinating public squares in the world. The Pitti Palace is a grand Renaissance palace located in Florence, Italy. It was originally built in the mid-15th century as the residence of Luca Pitti, a wealthy Florentine banker, and was later purchased by the powerful Medici family in the 16th century. Today, the Pitti Palace houses several important museums and galleries, including the Palatine Gallery, the Gallery of Modern Art, and the Museum of Costume and Fashion. The Palatine Gallery is the most famous and important of these, featuring an impressive collection of Renaissance and Baroque art, including works by famous artists such as Raphael, Titian and Rubens. The palace itself is a stunning example of Renaissance architecture, with beautiful frescoes, sculptures, and other works of art adorning its halls and rooms. Visitors to the palace can explore the many grand rooms and galleries, including the magnificent Hall of Mirrors, which is decorated with beautiful frescoes and mirrors. The Pitti Palace is also surrounded by several beautiful gardens, including the Boboli Gardens, which are among the most famous and picturesque in Italy. The gardens are filled with beautiful fountains, sculptures, and other works of art, and offer stunning views of the city of Florence. Overall, the Pitti Palace is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in art, history, and architecture. Its stunning collection of art and beautiful surroundings make it one of the most important and fascinating landmarks in Florence. The Boboli Gardens is a stunning park located behind the Pitti Palace in Florence, Italy. It is one of the most famous and picturesque gardens in Italy, and is known for its beautiful sculptures, fountains, and lush greenery. The gardens were originally designed in the 16th century by the famous Florentine architect Niccolò Pericoli, also known as Tribolo. The gardens were later expanded and redesigned in the 17th and 18th centuries by other prominent architects, including Bernardo Buonalenti and Giuseppe Fancelli. The Boboli Gardens cover an area of over 111 acres and are divided into several sections, each with its own unique features and attractions. The gardens are home to several stunning fountains, including the Fountain of Neptune and the Fountain of the Ocean, which are both impressive examples of Renaissance art. Visitors to the gardens can also explore several beautiful sculptures and other works of art, including the Grotto of Buonalenti, which is a magnificent cave decorated with intricate mosaics and sculptures. The Boboli Gardens are also known for their stunning views of the city of Florence, with several vantage points offering panoramic views of the city's historic center and surrounding countryside. Overall, the Boboli Gardens are a must-see attraction for anyone visiting Florence, and are sure to leave a lasting impression on all who visit. The Basilica di Santa Croce is a magnificent church located in the heart of Florence, Italy. It is one of the most important and famous churches in the city, and is known for its stunning Gothic architecture and rich history. Construction on the Basilica di Santa Croce began in the late 13th century, and it took over a century to complete. The church is famous for its stunning facade, 
which is decorated with intricate carvings and sculptures, as well as its impressive bell tower, which offers panoramic views of the city. The interior of the Basilica di Santa Croce is equally impressive, with soaring vaulted ceilings, intricate stained glass windows, and beautiful frescoes adorning the walls and ceilings. The church is home to several important works of art, including frescoes by Giotto and sculptures by Donatello and Michelangelo. The Basilica di Santa Croce is also known for its many tombs and monuments, which honor some of the most important and influential figures in Italian history. Notable figures buried in the church include Galileo Galilei, Michelangelo, and Niqua Machiavelli. Today, the Basilica di Santa Croce remains an important and active place of worship, and is a popular destination for tourists and pilgrims alike. Visitors to the church can attend Mass, explore the beautiful artwork and architecture, and pay their respects at the tombs of some of Italy's most famous and influential figures. Overall, the Basilica di Santa Croce is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in art, history, and culture, and is sure to leave a lasting impression on all who visit. The San Lorenzo Market is a bustling market located in the San Lorenzo district of Florence, Italy. It is one of the largest and most famous markets in the city, and is known for its wide variety of goods and vibrant atmosphere. The market is divided into two sections, an outdoor market and an indoor market. The outdoor market features numerous stalls selling everything from leather goods and souvenirs to fresh produce and flowers. The indoor market, also known as the central market, is housed in a historic building and features numerous stalls selling fresh meat, fish, cheese, and other local delicacies. The San Lorenzo Market is a popular destination for both locals and tourists alike, and is a great place to immerse oneself in the local culture and traditions. Visitors to the market can browse the many stalls, sample local specialties, and pick up souvenirs to take home. One of the highlights of the market is its selection of leather goods, which are famous throughout Italy and the world. Visitors can find a wide range of leather products, including jackets, bags, belts, and shoes, all made by local artisans. Overall, the San Lorenzo Market is a must-visit destination for anyone visiting Florence, and is sure to provide a memorable experience filled with culture, tradition, and local flavor. The Palazzo Strozzi is a magnificent palace located in the heart of Florence, Italy. It was originally built in the 15th century for the wealthy Strozzi family, and is one of the finest examples of Renaissance architecture in the city. The palace is famous for its stunning facade, which is decorated with intricate carvings and sculptures, as well as its beautiful courtyard, which is surrounded by a series of arches and adorned with a fountain. The interior of the palace is equally impressive, with beautiful frescoes, paintings, and sculptures decorating its halls and rooms. Today, the Palazzo Strozzi serves as a cultural center and is home to several important exhibitions and events throughout the year. The palace is known for its innovative and engaging exhibits, which explore a wide range of topics and showcase some of the most important and influential artists and works of art in the world. Visitors to the Palazzo Strozzi can explore the many exhibits and events, attend lectures and workshops, and enjoy the beautiful surroundings of the palace. The palace also features a beautiful rooftop terrace, which offers stunning views of the city and surrounding hills. Overall, the Palazzo Strozzi is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in art, history, and culture, and is sure to leave a lasting impression on all who visit. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and helpful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and we'll do our best to get back to you. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos, let us know. We're always looking for new ideas and topics to cover. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video.